Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back, all you wonderful, magnificent, fantastic people. Welcome back to another episode of Arc Series X. Oh, yeah. Today, today we are taking a look at another really handy, really, really effective farm. Um, I was going to do a couple episodes this week, but I was like, well, shit, before I do... I better show off these farms because we are going to be using them a lot over the next few episodes. Uh, so the last one was the polymer farm here, which, if you haven't checked out, um, I highly, highly suggest you go and take a little look-see. I guess we already pet that guy not long ago. Um, but yeah, farm works incredible. Check it out. See what you think. Uh, but today, today, we are taking a look at the electronic farm. Um, it's already set up and ready to go, just like the polymer farm. You want to gather yourself up a couple of tech dinos. Um, any of them will work, but uh, I go with parasaurs because they're easier. They're not not hard to tame at all. Um, so we have two females and a male, and they produce a nice abundance here. Uh, you're still mating. Good, good. I think this one is too. Yep, there we go. Um, now what we're gonna do today is before we uh, actually harvest up the farm, I got three of our dinos here that we have on our story playthrough. And uh, I want to do a little bit of testing, and we're going to see which one will actually harvest the most for us, um, or if it makes any difference at all. If not, cool. If it does, well, that's the one we're going to use. So first off, we're going to start with the Baryonyx here. And come on over here. Shit, it harvested both of them. Are you serious? That is not gonna help. Hold on. Hold on. Damn thing. Apparently we had it too close. Alright, we'll get those out. We'll incubate them out here. Never mind. Suppose we're gonna have to do that one more time. Alright, so here's a solo one. Let's see what the Baryonyx harvests. There we go. And now we are going to do one more here. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Alright, so this guy got 11 oil, 12 electronics, and 12 metal. As well as your um, element dust, but I'm not overly concerned with that right now. What we are checking out is the electronics and stuff. That's what we want to know. Alright, so this thing just has to die now before we can uh, hatch it, of course. Or not hatch it, but eat it. Um... So that Baryonyx actually has a pretty wide range on his bite. Holy shit. I was not expecting that, I tell you what. Come on. No, 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 no. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Damn it. Stop. Stop running. Dude. Okay, you know what? We imprinted on it. There we go. And it died. That's all we wanted. Oh. Ugh. Headphones fell off. Jeez. There we go. Alright, now we're back. So what we want to do... Uh, this guy died over here. We're going to take this guy over and take a little look-see. Alright, so you did not harvest as much. Uh, oh, wow, really? We only got one electronic with him and eight scrap metal. Shit, that's terrible. That is terrible, bud. Wow, I was going to use you too. Good, good thing I didn't have you already ready to go. Um, so as it sits right now, it looks like the Baryonyx is probably our best bet. Poor Capro did not get enough to make anything worthwhile there. Uh, now we just got to test this one. Which, I feel pretty good about the Thylacolio. I mean, I feel like it'll do pretty damn good. Uh, I can't believe you. You're going to just get moved out of the way because we are definitely not going to be using you for that. Um, not that you're not good. I mean, you are a very awesome tame. 
but we just don't need you for um, for doing that. Now, I think I might change his colors a little bit. I don't know. I kind of like the plain look, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe we'll just keep him the same. All right, so this guy hatched. We just gotta wait for him to die now. Um, you know what? We're just gonna imprint you. And beat the crap out of you. That should work. No, let's use this actually. Damn it. That's not even working. Never mind. Unclaim. There we go. That was much easier. All right. Let's go, Miss Kitty. Let's see what you harvest. All right. So you get seven electronic, ten metal, and six oil. Wow, the Baryonyx is actually our better harvester on that. Huh. Well, shit. Alright. So, we're just going to take all of that and put it on you for now. Same with you. Let's take all of your... Whoops, no, nah, we didn't want to do that. And that's going to go on Miss Kitty. And you are going to go into the pen, because apparently you are the best harvester we have right now for this. Oh yeah, look at that. See, and this is why this farm is wicked. Um, now, as you stack up more, you'll get lots and lots more materials, but for now, this is a great start. Uh, let's give you some more health. Holy shit, look at the prime meat there. That is insane. Not that we need that much prime meat, but... Wow, if we had an industrial forage or something... Oh my god. Actually, you know what? That's that's a good idea. Or uh, industrial cooker, I mean. Alright, so... The berry is just going to stay here. Uh, because, well, this is... This is the best spot for you right now, bud. Alright. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um... As you can see, we got a decent amount out of that. Holy. Let's get this all in our inventory just long enough to see. So we got 221 metal. We got 249 electronics. 269 oil. And 318 element dust. I mean, I will take that. That is definitely wicked. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button for me. Hit that sub button, tell your friends, share it around, all that cool shit. And put the comments back. Most importantly, hopefully you're all staying awesome, being kind to one another, being kind to yourselves. And I will see each and every one of you guys here real, real soon. Yeah, that was, that was good. Good hope.